Hello again and welcome back to our course on PowerPoint 2019. In the previous module we saw how to insert video into our presentation and in this module we're going to concentrate on how to insert audio into our presentation. So I'm currently on slide four which is where we have our bulleted list of items that show the travel benefits for Wanderlust Travel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some elements and insert them into this slide. So audio is a great way of adding a little pizzazz into your slide so it breaks things up again from having just text on a slide or maybe some graphics. You can actually play some audio that maybe comes from you to make it a little bit more personal. It's quite nice for audience members or even if you're sending this presentation to someone. So let's see how we can go about inserting audio. Now I'm staying on the insert ribbon. And we're going back to the same group which contains the videos and that is the media group on the end and you can see we have an option for audio so you can record audio on my pc so maybe if you have some kind of uh, audio file saved off to your pc then you can insert it but we're actually going to record a piece of live audio so let's select record audio so the first thing you need to do is to give your audio a name so i'm just going to say this is called Wanderlust Travel and then underneath you can see the only active button I have is this red circle here and that is your record button. So I'm going to record a piece of audio now. Welcome to Wanderlust Travel. There are many benefits when you decide to book a trip with us. For example, you get 20% discount if you are a new customer. We also have a dedicated Facebook group so you can get to know your group before you leave and we'll also send you a free gift so you'll receive a free book in the post that's relevant for your destination to really get you in the mood for your trip and you will also receive an information pack with useful things like packing lists and destination information and then I'm going to click on stop and now I'm going to click on the OK button and you can probably just about see here I have this little audio icon and we've got this little kind of scroll bar at the bottom and if I put that somewhere down here this will allow me to play this video now I just want to make sure that this object is positioned on top of my background because I'm not sure if it is at the moment I'm going to jump across to the home ribbon I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to say bring to front what I would suggest with this audio icon is that you place it somewhere out of the way and I would also suggest that if you have audio on multiple slides that you position the audio in the same place every time so that people who are looking at this presentation kind of have a, a rough idea as to where the audio is going to be. So when I'm clicked on the audio, if you cast your eyes up to the ribbons, I now have two ribbons which control the formatting and also the playback. So let's jump across to audio format first of all. And we have very similar options to what we had when we were formatting our video. So things like corrections, color, artistic effects, and also things like styles as well. So I could change the style of these. I have options to bring forward or send backwards and also align options and crop options as well. So we've seen these multiple times when we've put different objects in. So I'm not going to go into too many details right now. Let's jump across to the playback ribbon because there are a few options on here that you need to be made aware of. So again, we have a play button if you want to preview that audio file. We can do things like trim the audio. So if I click on trim, what this will allow me to do is to essentially cut out parts of this video. So if I want to maybe, uh, maybe there's some dead space at the beginning, I could move the start of the video up a little bit. And if I wanted to cut some out at the end, I could move the end along as well and then click on OK. And that will essentially trim that video. I can add a fade in and a fade out and I can specify the amount of seconds for those. And I can also control the volume from here as well, low, medium, high, or I can have it on mute. I have that start option where I can choose how this audio is going to start. So do I want it to start playing automatically when people come onto the slide? Or do I want it to start playing when people click on the actual audio play button? And I'm going to say when clicked on. I could choose to have it play across slides if I wanted to. And also I could say loop until stop. So if it's a fairly short video, I might want the message to keep looping round when it gets to the end. 
I can choose to hide the audio during show. And what we mean by that is when you're running the slideshow, you can hide it if you want to. And I could also choose to rewind the audio after it's finished playing. And also in this audio styles group, currently I have no style on there. I could choose to play it in the background as well. So it'll be a little bit lower in volume. So lots of different options for you to have a little play around with. And as I said, audio is another way of just adding a little bit more of an engaging element into your presentation. So it's definitely worth uh, considering putting into your presentations. That's pretty much it on media. In the next section, we're going to be doing an exercise. So I will see you then. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this PowerPoint 2019 playlist.